at last he's holding looks a lot like your messy spirit gun! And approximately equal in force. What? Don't you think we should tell Yusuke that? Time for us to test our powers. <laughs> I was waiting for the end fight! Yusuke already knows. It's a draw. Ah! Look at them, they're charging each other at the exact same time! Welcome to Deep Diving, diving deep into everything pop culture. Today we'll be talking about one of my favorite anime of all time, Yu Yu Hakusho. It's a Jap it's a show based off of a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Yoshihiro Togashi. The series tells the story of Yusuke Urameshi, a teen delinquent who was struck and killed by a car while attempting to save a child's life. After a number of tests presented to him by Koenma, the son of the ruler of the afterlife underworld, Yusuke is revived and appointed the title of Underworld Detective, with which he must investigate various cases involving demons and apparitions in the human world. The manga becomes more focused on martial arts battles and tournaments as it progresses. Tagashi began creating Yu Yu Hakusho around November 1990, basing the series on his interest in the occult and horror films and an influence of Buddhist mythology. The Yu Yu Hakusho anime adaptation, adaptation was directed by Noriyuki Abe and co-produced by Fuji Television, Yomiko Advertising, and Studio Period. The series consisting of 112 episodes aired from October 10, 1992 to January 7, 1995 on Fuji Television. The episodes were released on 23 video cassettes by Pony Canyon from January 1, 1995 to December 6, 1995 they were also released on 28 DVD volumes by Beam Entertainment, with volumes 8 through 14 being released on March 25th, 2002. All right, I'm not going to go too much into the plot on this because it's a really special anime to me, but I do want to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the characters. So the main character is uh, Yusuke Yurameshi, um 14-year-old boy, um, kind of a badass. He's... um. A, a punk, a delinquent. He uh, pretty much does what he wants, skips school, and he's known around his neighborhood as the the neighborhood tough guy. Um, another main character that uh, becomes very important uh, throughout the series is uh, Kazuma Kuwabara, who is extremely uh, sensitive to spirits, and also becomes in possession of a spirit sword and is also is um, one of Yusuke's closest friends. Um, there are also a couple other characters who are very important to the the title and that's going to be uh, Hiei and Karami. Hi Hiei and Karama. Um, they both join Yusuke and Kuwabara on a bunch of missions during the anime. Um, this, if, if you've never seen this anime before, this is definitely one that you want to check out. Um, it's definitely, at least to me, a classic. And um, it'll definitely kill some time for you. Um, thank you guys for listening. This has been another episode of Deep Diving. Thank you guys for listening. Um, if you liked the video, then uh, please press that like button. Also, um, if you're not yet subscribed, please also subscribe. And uh, once again, thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Have a great day. Peace.